This is Castaway Paradise, which is basically Animal Crossing, but on other platforms. So from what I understand, this is a mobile uh, game that's kind of been ported over to consoles, and it works so well. So I'm a huge fan of Animal Crossing. I loved it when I was little in the GameCube. They have not delivered on anything near the experience of Animal Crossing since. And this, this does what Nintendo won't. So basically, you wash up on this island after you've been in a little boat, and there's a town of people. They've got quests and little missions. There's stores, there are places you build to, you try to fix things up. There's a ton of content to this. It seems simple, but there's just hours of gameplay. Now, some of the remnants stay behind as far as being mobile, as you have to wait for certain things to kind of grow, or you have to wait to do certain things, but that's kind of just part of the experience. So you water your crops, uh, you collect them once they're done, and you can sell them. Oh no. And yeah, so we gotta sell this stuff. Sell our corn. We upgrade? Yeah, let's upgrade. Bigger silo? Anyways. So you collect your items, uh, then you farm some new things, and then you grow trees, and you shake the trees, and you get fruits from the trees. And you've got all this different equipment, as you kind of see in the bar. We can, like, dig things. We can, uh, I can't think of the name for it, but, uh, ah, what is that? Uh, you know, when you're, you're raking the dirt. Hoeing? Is that the, I think there's a better terminology for it, of when you're actually, like, getting the soil to be fertile. Sorry, it's just totally running blank on what that is. Uh, so you can cut that up and there's fishing rod and you can have a, a net if you want to catch the uh, the bugs which we'll show later and uh, pickaxe so you can break out uh, rocks and stuff. So it's got everything the Animal Crossing games have but like more. I'm going to quickly show you the whole process of farming here so we've you know hoed out the land. Ooh we got broccoli so we actually are so let's do that for a quest. Five broccolis and then back to cheap corn. So we plant our stuff, and then we actually have to water it so it can grow. So this is really intuitive, it's easy to use, it's easy to play. Anyone of any age can easily hop in on this and have a grand time. If you've been waiting for an Animal Crossing game, this fills that niche. And I think it does it even better. Uh, you know, because the old game, it has it's aged well, but you know, you can't really play it modern-wise. Uh, it also has elements that are more towards Harvest Moon, kind of the farming systems, a little bit more complex. Well, I guess there's not really even a farming system in Animal Crossing, but you get what I'm saying. So we've got that going. They're gonna grow. You can see the time, kind of time thing, and that's what I kind of mean in the mobile aspect. I think the visuals are beautiful, though. Ah, oh, that was fast. As you can kind of see, I think they look really good. It's obviously not um, enhanced as you can tell, but uh, that is not necessary. It's got that really soft art style that works for the ground, and the characters are kind of uh, minimalistic style. You know, very poly-shaped. That name's been escaping me too, too. But very minimalistic, simplistic style on them. I'm having trouble these days today, anyways. So we farm our crops, uh, water them, collect them, and then sell them. Uh, we've got quests on the left-hand side. You can see your bottom and your level in the bottom left, and you just kind of like really do the same kind of things over and over again. But some people, like myself, absolutely love this type of game. I've been looking so long for something like this, and to see it actually on consoles. Like I, I looked into it kind of the one day, and then I saw it, and I was like, "What? No way!" Oh, what's that? I don't know what that is. We'll grow it. But yeah, there's a ton of different crops. So many things you can do. And as you can see, I've already spent how long just to get farming. And that kind of uh, addiction just does not disappear when you're playing this. So now we'll show off bugs. So you can kind of catch bugs. There is a museum that I'm working towards getting. And that way you can kind of like display bugs you catch. Or you can sell bugs. So the technique for catching bugs is to go nice and slow behind them. Some of them are a little quicker. Then other bugs. Can I catch up with this one? Can you just stop moving? And you're also trying to clean things up too. I guess I'll show that quickly. Pickaxe. You know, make the area look nice. Uh, that's my house there, so you can decorate the interior. 
and for those that like like doing the decorations there are a ton of options so I'm, I'm really hoping that i can sort of show things i don't really want to cut my trees down so i'm not going to do that let's go to my house so you get your own little house and obviously you upgrade it and stuff as time goes by and you're trying to fix other people's houses i've got like a cool uh, gramophone it's, i don't know place records anyways so you can customize your house um, we got an inventory kind of pull things out uh, fence and old shoe and everything like that obviously this is very much a work in progress guys so don't hate me too much it's my little homestead so i'm going over the core mechanics and then we're going to go more into actually showing off the buildings and so forth uh, we've got fishing and i'm not seeing any fish which is a little disappointing these guys have quests oh crap no i don't want to fish stop it So you get little options, you can chit chat with them. And then we get a new quest, plan to grow two trees on the beach. Which I guess is our goal. Do I have any tree saplings? So this is our main menu thing. This is where everything is run. We've got our quests, uh, different people that have quests that you can grab at the top, what your reward is. Uh, you can see your inventory at any point. I don't have any apples, so I can't really plant them. Oh, I'm growing artichoke, okay. Uh, the catalog there are a ton of things to get there's like vip stuff too timed events based on what day it is of the week if you come back and play multiple times in the week you'll get uh, access to new things which are kind of cool and free rewards that's how i got the uh, the record player so that was kind of cool uh, you can upgrade your tools to make them better i kind of want to upgrade a duster hmm. bigger nozzle eh, that'd make my life easier so you kind of buy there, lots of different items, you know, if you want furniture, uh, if you want to customize the look of everything. So you can spend countless hours sitting here, kind of earning and unlocking things and getting new food, and you can kind of entice the creatures to come and uh, basically be caught by you. Different themes, uh, there's the whole clothing systems, there's tons of outfits. You can kind of wear whatever clothing you want. You kind of get to choose at the beginning. You kind of, uh, you're kelp and then you get to choose male or female or whatever and then you can buy whatever afterwards. They don't really care. So I guess that's progressive. Anyways. Uh, yeah. And then there's achievements. You can actually see your gamer score. The achievements are uneven in this one. So be wary of that. I don't like when they do that in games. So we've got to evolve trees. That's going to be great. Uh, who else has quests? Mm. I guess the moose has a new quest. The moose on the loose. So yeah, you go around, you take quests, you do things, you try to repair stuff. That's what I was saving for. Ah, I forgot and I spent all my money. Anyways, I guess I'll just work up again and get it. Grasshopper. Decorate your house. Can I pick up what I've already owned and do it that way? Probably not. Oh yeah, and there's uh, seasons too. Obviously, in the top, you can kind of see the seasons. The areas unlocked. Uh, puzzle pieces. Use the puzzle pieces to open bridges to get to new areas. Uh, I can't remember. There's this one kind of area for fishing quests. Yeah. Okay. So this is the daily kind of challenge. And then you get these kind of things that you can redeem for items. And then you've unlocked like an outfit or something like that. Or get a dinner chair if I do a little bit more and get the upgrade done or earn profit at the bank. Uh, so forth like that. Kind of cool. I think it's neat. So we've got to collect the broccoli. Still doing that. Oh, there's fish. So we'll do that. It's so easy to get distracted with the four billion different things you can do in this game, which is awesome. Alright, so to fish. Kind of throw the line by them. They'll bite it a bunch of times, and then this little wheel will come in the middle. Wait till it's in the middle. Catch them. And you've got a fish. It'll have a high score and everything, too, if you like to show off to people for whatever reason. Go around and like do random things. Hang up these tree stumps. Oh yeah, 
you can also like come across items that are hidden underneath too just like an animal crossing and i really hope you come across a apple tree because i wanted to uh, shake the apple tree because it's just like animal crossing i love animal crossing so it's it's really refreshing to see a game kind of bring that back just cleaning up my island i, I just really want to show off all the different aspects of gameplay in this because i have been having an absolute blast with it uh, oh, yeah, there's a tree. Okay, so I want to put this away. Again, this is a very easy to use and play experience. I just want to give all the, the core details in case people don't want to see me just play around on this forever. Uh, I think it's fantastic. plays really well. So you get these uh, question mark points for doing quests and stuff, and then you can unlock the, the bridges and so forth. But yeah, there's lots to do. Uh, you can play this for countless hours and not get bored of it as you... Uh, collect items from trees, and you farm, and you sell items. We're going to show off the shop in a sec here. Another orange. I don't think I have enough money to plant it. It's a little bit depressing. I want the shovel out here. Nice. Okay, let's see if we can actually plant this. Oh crap, I accidentally dropped it, really? Okay. Nice, okay. I think it was just a barrier I had to reach before I was able to plant that. So we can sell some stuff, because now I've got some money. Get that growing. So it's really about cleaning up. I've collected a lot of the driftwood and stuff. You're not being, uh kind of led over by an evil dictator so that's nice I'm looking at you Tom Nook and I haven't come across any of them like a mole yet so I think it should be kind of safe that guy's scary was it a mole I, I don't remember I think my voice is dying a bit tonight but uh, yeah anyways I think it was like a weird statue thing from the house that if you no, if you quit out without saving uh, the mole would come and like terrify you as a child and it goes on and on and on it's pretty dark if you've gone back to play Animal Crossing. It's like, what? Scary thing. Seriously, just like emulated. Well, I don't know if you have a GameCube played off that way. But, uh, yeah, just like take a look at it and quit without saving. And the mole just talked and talked and talked for like five minutes, like screaming at you. It's scary. You got the broccoli growing and the artichoke. Cool, so my farm's still going. We got an upgraded silo. Uh, that's a cellar person in the middle of the square, but I'll show you the actual shop, which should look very familiar for those that are fans of Mr. Tom Hook and his money-grubbing ways. This is not open right now. There we go. Let's go in there. So yeah, as you can see, there's lots of clothing opportunities. You get groomed. I don't. My hair is weird. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. See, they really go over the top so that you kind of know what you're doing. He's the shopkeeper. You go and you can like buy all these items here. Feed and seeds and exotic items to exotic items to pimp out your house. You know, to make it look nicer, stuff like that, if that's your sort of thing. And then there's lots of different shops like this, too. Like, the more you play, the more places you unlock, the more things you get to. Uh, we got a town hall. Go inside that. You know, you can do stuff. They've even got, like, a postmaster. I don't know, it's it's like really that full Animal Crossing experience. But on, you know, modern consoles, which I think is just great. Like stocks and everything. It's just it's fascinating how much depth is in this. And again, I encourage you just to sit here and play and play and play because there's like so much that's going on. I should have sold stuff while I was in the store. Come on, go, go, go. Quick cash, or yeah, I'm gonna have to go and uh, 
sell some of my stuff in order to access that. Anyways, I think it's uh, really neat. It's a lot of fun to play. I, I barely probably even scratched the surface with this review, but I just wanted to go over all the cool little things that make this game so interesting and make it so appealing to me. Should I keep the axe badge? I don't know. I don't need the apples, though. I'm trying to keep as many of the bug critters as I can so that I can give them to the museum. Because one of my favorite things in Animal Crossing was, uh... Ah, oh, crap. Moved too much. Was working towards filling out the museum. I thought it was cool. It's something to do. So this does capture that experience that you all remember from Animal Crossing, assuming you've played it. And if you haven't, this is the type of game that can be super addicting and take so much of your life away. But it's totally worth it. And then you can go... <laughs> they're kind of teaching you about uh, saving. I guess it would be GIC, would that be? Kind of? Guaranteed? In? Yeah, anyways. Uh, so that's Castaway Paradise. It's on the console platforms. This is specifically Xbox One. And if you have any questions about this fun game, let me know. It's definitely worth it. Quests, farming, uh, fishing, raking, digging, mining, cutting trees, bug collection, whatever you want. It's in this game in a simple, sleek, awesome package.